What's going on y'all, I'm DJ Sean with Astralis, and today I'm here to bring you guys a beginner's hard breach guide where I detail when to bring who, what they do, and the loadouts of each operator. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to hear which operator I think is the best overall, and also as we go along to see in-game examples of each operator being used. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Astralis channel, it will really help out. But as usual, that's enough of me rambling, let's get straight into the guide. All right, so first thing is first, we're going to start with Habana. Look at the fit. Y'all see the fit. I know y'all see it. We got the elite skin with the phase clan with the type 89 and the supernova. Those are our primary weapons. So usually I don't know what situation you're going to be in if you want to use a supernova. In all my days playing ranked and all my days playing this game in general, I have never seen anybody run this gun like ever primarily this has to be the one option this has got to be the number one thing you use the type 89 so on this one i don't like to run an a call because usually with habana since she's a three speed i'm pretty much like in your face with her so i'm gonna need either a hollow or the 1.5 i'll run the 1.5 because this is kind of like it gives me long range and like close range of options so this fitted out on the type 89 is probably gonna be your best bet it is preference so you can play around with a lot of stuff and figure out what you want to use but me personally i run this with the 1.5 the flash hider and the vertical grip now you could use an angle grip too because she's that aggressive or you can be that aggressive with her but since i got a bad time controlling recoil all the time i just use the vertical grip because if i use the angle grip i'm gonna be looking at the sky if i shoot to somebody so if that's you you're gonna have to run the vertical grip all day so 1.5 flash hider vertical grip you see the icy cat charm fitted it out but that's what i run on her primary so the secondary weapon you got the p229 and you have the bearing nine now i kind of look at this loadout like i would look at sledges because he has the smg 11 rest in peace that next season by the way i don't know a you be what you doing but i would like to run the bearing nine because her ar doesn't have a lot of bullets in it so for that reason you're gonna probably have to if you miss a lot of shots if you're mr with them shots like they call me you gonna have to go ahead and whip out the secondary in order to get that kill so doing that with a secondary weapon like the pistol or doing it with a bearing nine like this right here or doing it with the smg i guarantee you you probably gonna get more kills with the smg than you would with a pistol so it just feels better to use the smg to the handgun but that's just me so for her gadgets, you have the breach charge and then you have the stun grenades. Now, honestly, it depends on what map you want to use it. But if you're going on a map like Clubhouse, which has a lot of hatches and roof hatches too, like Coastline and Clubhouse, like I just said, having Habana with breach charges makes her like a just destructive monster on that map, especially if you run a double breach. Oh, if you run a double breach on Clubhouse, the enemy team will have to watch out, bro. That's all I'm going to say about that because everything is getting open. Soft or hard, we opening it so this is pretty much preference too you might want to bring stun grenades if you plan to like run an ads or burn ads but in all honesty depends on the map breach charger stuns if you want to be aggro probably stuns if you want to play more util you got the breach charger so that's it for her loadout now i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i would use her in a real game all right so the first thing i like to do when i'm playing habana is really well not even what i like to do but the one thing that you should be doing is using her on a map like Clubhouse when there's a bunch of hatches. So she's really like a, destruct a destructive machine. I can't talk. And what a lot of people don't know is if a hatch is reinforced, you can press B to change the fire rate. And it takes four of these pellets to blow a hatch. So that way you don't have to use six at a time. So it goes between, you know, you have the, the standard one, which is six. This one that you have is four and then another one is two now this one when you have two you use two of them to destroy soft hatches so if there's a hatch on the top and she actually has breach charges too but if you forget to bring breach charges she has like this soft hatch right here you can use two of her little pellets and this is gonna blow the hatch a lot of people don't know this like they'll use six pellets on one hatch and blow it and then the team is looking at them like yo this is your first time playing habana or not so always remember you can click between your fire rates and have them destroy a hatch a lot of people will see a soft hatch or a reinforced hatch and they'll just put all six on it don't do that 
So if there's a map with a lot of hatches and you see stuff that's soft or a lot of destructibility like clubhouse, depending on what site you're attacking, you want to use breaches. So like I said, don't use all your pellets on the hatch. Be sure to bring your breaches just in case you'll need them. And then you can blow the hatch in like this. Or you can blow walls open that are left soft. Like if they leave this wall soft, you can pretend that this that's that wall. You can blow it open with a breach. So Habana has a lot of destructibility and her guns ain't that bad really. Her SMG, I can't even show her recoil, but her SMGs are good. Her primaries are good. So if you wanted to get this outside wall, if it was reinforced, you could. I used all my pellets on like the hatches, but you could put six here and another six, and that'll make like a hole that you can actually get through. But I wouldn't do that using Havana. That would be for a bigger pre breacher like Thermite or Ace. So, and speaking of which, that's actually who we're gonna talk about next. But before we talk about Thermite, I wanted to talk about today's video sponsor, and that's Root Insurance. Now, I'm pretty sure you have a car or know somebody that has one, and with how everything is going in the world, some people are looking to save a little bit of money. People who switch to Root Insurance can save up to $900 a year, and you can put that towards something else you want to get this nice for yourself. So download the Root app on your phone today so you can have a few extra bucks in your pocket. But with that, let's get back to the video. Now we move on to Mr. OG Thermite. Y'all gotta see, look look at the fit though, man. This man looked like he ready for battle. Yes, sir. The ninjas in pajamas outfit with the skin on the gun too. Man, stop playing with him. So his loadout, he got the M1014, which is a shoddy. And then you got the 556, which is his assault rifle. So again, the same thing I said with Habana. I don't know what scenario I'ma see you running this shotgun in. I have no clue. The 556 is what you're gonna go with. He doesn't have a 1.5 scope, so I do I run the closest thing to that. It's pretty much the 2.0. Because if I run an ACOG, that's for like holding long angles. Again, this is preference too. But since I need the in your face and like long range duo, I need like the 1.5 and the 2.0. That's usually like my bread and butter. With this one, same as Habana, I run the flash hiders. That seems to give me the better recoil. And again, like I said, with Habana again, if you want to be in your face, you can use the angle. But I tend to be looking at the sky, tracing the clouds by the time I'm shooting at somebody, like I said before. So I run the vertical grip to give me more recoil control. So with the secondaries, this is where he differs from the Habana, not only just the gadget. So he has two pistols. You can use the 5.7 or you can use the M45. Now this right here, I kind of just use the 5.7 because the recoil on it is kind of tight. So I don't have to really worry about the shots being spread out like you see on the graph over here on the M45. But the M45 does do more damage. So you might want to go with that one. Again, this is preference too. But since I like to go ahead and be aggressive, I don't really need like the whole like, oh, I whiffed the shots thing. I'm gonna definitely use the pistol, the 5.7. So gadget wise, they took his claymores from him. Thermite used to have claymores. So he has smokes and stuns now. Now this is good actually, because for the smokes, you can use that for execution. Like if you blow a wall and then you need to smoke off areas to get the plant down, definitely Thermite is good for that. But also if you want to be aggressive, if you want to be that fragmite we all know from Pro League, let me tell you, you can run the stuns too. And also you can use the three stuns that you get compared to the two stuns or the two smokes that you get in order to burn like ADSs and you know what well, my stuff and all that type of stuff the entry denial that would be in there so that's a good idea too but that's pretty much it for thermite you use the 556 5.7 and then you run your smokes or your stuns that's pretty much for its loadout now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you would use them in a game it's long explanation time baby yay Thermite is pretty self-explanatory. He doesn't have his claymores anymore, like I went over in the loadouts. So you can't really do this for the garage door for runouts. You're gonna have that somebody else with claymores do it, or bring somebody like a nomad or something like that, some type of flank watch, in order to make sure your garage is clear. So Thermite, he's been in the game since I don't even know when, way back, way back. He was on release. So this should be, if y'all know how to use this man, hey, you've been under a rock or something. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all how to use them. So if you see a wall like this, this is usually what a thermite is for. Remember how I said you have to use the Habana and I ran out of pellets to make like little small breaches, something that you'll be able to cross through. I don't really like using Habana for that reason. This is for thermite. So just put the breach charge on the wall and blow it. 
like this you don't want to put it too high because then you have to vault in you want to put it so that it rolls the whole thing like this so the whole wall is open but sometimes especially on clubhouse if cage is not banned they're going to run a cage and put it on this wall here on the outside cctv wall so what you want to do then is have a maverick which we're going to explain later but have a maverick either make holes along the bottom of this and shoot the bandit battery or you'll have him make a hole right here and he'll be able to toss a nade in and you'll be able to help him because you have stun grenades to burn the ADSs and Wamaz here as well so that will be your job but if he repels this you don't want to sit here and blow the bottom wall like this because your feet your feet's exposed so what you want to do is repel uh, my change stance option is C. So you repel upside down, you put the breach shards here, and then you can blow the wall that way. So your feet aren't exposed when you blow the wall. See, I put that one a little high, so you have to vault in here, but you could put it a little lower. Don't have it like this metal showing like this because you can't run in, you'll have to vault in, and then somebody holding this can kill you, somebody holding the garage can kill you, so it's just an unnecessary thing. But that's it for Thermite. Really self-explanatory. Hard breachers always drone for their teammates to make sure stuff is clear. But we're going to move on to Ace now. Because Thermite was pretty fast. Hey, man, look, listen. What I said before is we're, we're not going to go ahead. We're going to disregard it, all right? Because this man Ace really just messed up my trend of uniforms that I got on the operators. This man is looking through. But this ain't about his outfit. We're going to go into the loadout. So for his loadout, again, I don't know what's wrong with all these hard breachers running shotguns and ARs. But this is pretty much a trend in Siege. But don't you run this shotgun. I bet not see you. He got the same shotgun as Thermite, the M1014. The You better not use it. That's what it, that's what the name of it should be. The don't use me. He got one of those. And then he got the AK-12. Now in this one. The AK-12 is a great gun right now, but they nerfing the recoil next season, so I don't know. It depends on how good you are in controlling the recoil. But this is pretty much his only, his better option to the shotgun, unless you want to be that person and you built different. You definitely gonna run the AK-12. Same thing with Thermite. He got the 2.0 scope for the dual threat. And on this one, I actually run a compensator instead of a flash hider. It just feels better to me if I have a compressor on rather than a flash hider. I've tried both. But since I like to spray, you know, I honestly want to run the compressor compared to the flash hider. So same thing with the other operators. He has an angled and a vertical grip. I have recoil problems, so I run the vertical grip and you can do the angled if you want to. It's not really that bad on the AK-12 compared to the other guns. So this is usable, but most definitely I'm going to stick to what I know and I'm rocking the vertical grip. So that's pretty much it for him in terms of primaries. He only has one secondary, so which is the P9. Not really much to go over about that. It's just a regular standard handgun. But for his gadgets, this is where he differs. So he has the Claymore, whereas Thermite used to have his Claymore. But for this, he also has Breach Chargers. So he can be a destructive monster too, just like Habana. So if you have a map where you got to get a lot of stuff open, Ace is probably one of the better Breaches to run because with his gadgets and i'm going to go over it when i go over the explanation with his gadgets he pretty much is able to open a lot of stuff but they're not big big holes like a thermite will be, will be able to get so just keep that in mind when you're running them but that's it for his loadout run the ak-12 one pistol and if you need flank watch you run with the claymore if you don't and you want to be a destructive monster you go ahead and put them breach charges on enough about me rambling about his guns now it's Ace's time to shine, and I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all how to use him. Alright, so now for this man, Ace. Now, this man's utility is kind of like, eh, to me. Because I don't really like using him all that much. But this is pretty much what you do with Ace. First of all, his AK-12 is good now, but it's getting nerfed. So it's not really going to be good next season. But this is pretty much what you want to do with him. So, like Cabana, he has the breach charges, so you can get the soft walls if you want to come up in here. Like, if you're attacking clubhouse or something like that that has a soft patch on the on the roof, maybe coastline too. You come up here, you can blow it, and that's another way of entry for you. Now, he only has three canisters, and they don't really open 
big walls. They used to before they nerfed them, but they don't open big walls. So if I were to just throw one, it detonates two times, right? One like that. And then one like that. But you see, it's not really, it ain't really that big of a hole. Like, again, you'll have to vault in here. So that leaves you open for an unnecessary animation and people can kill you from these types of areas, right? This is okay when it's clear. Like if somebody has cleared garage and somebody has cleared red stairs, then you could probably hop in and go for a plant. But just having this open like this, the defenders don't really, it's pressure, but it's not as pressure as it would be with the whole wall open. So if you wanted to, you could throw another one, but what a lot of people do is they'll just throw one on this side and then they'll throw one on another side and just have them detonate at the same time. So this is a lot more pressure with both sides opening, but then again, it's still vaultable, you know? So you could put it lower so that way you could just crouch in here, but running a thermite is better to me because the whole wall will be open. But that's just me. Let me know if y'all think something different in the comments down below because I'm actually interested. I don't really like using Ace as a breacher, but I mean, some people will say he's top tier. I don't necessarily believe that, but but usually the only time I really want to run him is if I'm tired of playing Thermite, honestly, or if there's like a lot of walls that I need to breach because Thermite only has two charges. So again, he can get two walls like this but they're, they're both all the way open. Ace, on the other hand, he could throw one and the hole is open like you see right here. And then he could come get this wall right here and have this open. And if he wanted to, he can breach open garage as well. So that's pretty much what you do with Ace as well. The same thing with Thermite and Habana, you drone for your entry, make sure it's clear. And you pretty much just blow the stuff open, same as you would in any other hard breacher. But now we gonna move on to the last but not least one, that boy Maverick. Last but not least, we got the homie Maverick. Now look, I, I didn't redeem myself, right? Look at the outfit, look at the fit. I redeemed myself, right, from the ace pick? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. But enough about that, it's time for his loadout. So he has the M4 assault rifle, and he also has the AR-15, which is the DMR. Now me personally, I don't like to use the one-shot DMR weapons, in all honesty, because like I said before, I'm Mr. With them shots. So I don't really like to do all that, but they are high in damage. So if you want to run those, you can, it's completely up to you. But me personally, I'm going with the M4. Now, the reason I'm gonna do this is for this reason and this reason alone. I like to play aggressive. So with this scope, as I said before, the 1.5, you can really get up close on people and it's not going to really have you at a disadvantage in my opinion if you have to get somebody that's really up close. So for that reason, I like to just run Mav. He's a three speed, you can be aggressive with him. He can go ahead and make different peak holes and reinforcements, like there's just a lot he could do. He's a, like a one man show. So so that's why I run the 1.5 scope. I run this with a flash harder too and a vertical grip. But as I said, with all the other operators, you can run an angle. It's just, if you can control the recoil, and if you want to be aggressive, then the angle grip might be better for you. But I have recoil control problems. So same thing with the ace. He only has one secondary. He got the 1911. Not really much to talk about with that one. And then with his gadgets, this is where he differs from all the other operators. Now, he has flank watch with the claymore. So you can also do that. But what a lot of people like to do is his main ability is to get stuff off the wall. So what you do with his breaching gadget is you go ahead and make a hole in the wall. You don't want to make it too big because people can't see for you through it, but you can make a little hole for you to nade through and you can go ahead and pop a frag grenade in there and get the stuff off the wall and possibly a pick if somebody decides to play on it. But what you can also do is you can maverick trick a wall and make it soft. And I'm going to show y'all how to do that. So that's enough for his loadout. Now we get into the bread and the butter. This is where Seize gets real. This is probably the most advanced tip that I can give you with doing hard breach is with this man right here. So enough of be rambling about his guns. We gonna get into how to do this in the game. Basically when you wanna run a Maverick is if there's a cade in play and there's electric claws you can't get like electric claws on the hatches or maybe somebody has an electric claw on this outside wall that you can't get to. This is where Maverick 
is very, very useful. Or it basically, if Thatcher's banned too, you want to run him. I didn't really like using him when he first came out because people would ask me the Maverick trick stuff and I'm just looking at them like, yo, I don't know. Look, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I just, I don't, I don't really know how to do that yet. But now I kind of have a grasp on how to do it. And I'm going to let y'all know how to do it too. So basically when you want to Maverick trick a wall, you want to make sure you get this far left side because if you go all the way across and you don't get the corners, it's not going to make the wall soft. So you always want to make sure you get this far left side and then you just maverick across and also sometimes there'll be a beam in the middle so you want to make sure you get this beam too i kind of got it right here but this beam right there i kind of got a little of it right there you want to make sure you get that or the wall not gonna go soft so then once you do that you can have somebody repel off the edge for a free pick and then Make sure you get the edge again. And then just Maverick across. And then the wall is soft. So then you could have somebody like a Sledge or Zofia or somebody with explosives come. And you could just blow the wall open. That's a pretty much this is a pretty neat maverick trick that's how pretty much you make the wall soft if you don't have another hard breacher like a thermite or a habana or ace anybody else that we've gone through on this video you pretty much can just maverick trick the wall people can open it and then there you go you got free wine free rain in the site but that's not it i got to tell y'all how to get the hatches too so let me show you that real quick basically had to hit y'all with the but wait there's more so there's more than one way to get a hatch with Maverick. The first one that I want to do, and I'm going to show y'all an example of people that's actually getting the hatches wrong. They'll like draw a square in the middle of the hatch, and that's not going to do anything but make the beam show underneath the reinforcement. So that's not what you want to do. So the first one, like I said before, is the throw of the X trick. So what you want to do is just Maverick corner to corner like this. If I can get this right, because I messed this up before, so. There you go. So that one is the X, the X trick. Throw up the X. Corner to corner, make sure it's lined up right, and then you can get this hatch. So in addition to the throw up the X one, we have it, which is getting the edge of whatever hatch you want to get. Each edge. Basically just drawing the square and tracing the whole hatch. Pretty much like that. So with this one, you can get the whole hatch. The hatch is open. And you can also, if a hatch is soft and you don't have any type of soft breach, you can just hit it. One, two, three, and then a soft hatch is break. So there's a lot you could do with Maverick. He's pretty much fun to play. In all honesty, I like playing agile, fast, agile operator. So this man's a three speed. He right up my alley. And that's pretty much every hard breacher in the game. Now, some people do have the hardest breach charge, and that's pretty much like a mini thermite charge that you can place on the ground and it can blow. It'll be like a little small, like square hole, basically. So you can also do that if you don't want to play any type of hard breachers, but since this is a hard breach guy, and pretty much all you're going to be doing when you play a hard breachers is breaching multiple walls, that's pretty much not something you want to actually go with. So if you want to breach a wall or if you want to play a hard breacher, you're going to go with somebody that's big. So big breaches for big walls like Ace, Thermite. And then if there's a map with a lot of hatches like Oregon or Clubhouse, you definitely want to run a Habana here, depending on what site they put. So if they go basement, I would bring two breaches here, actually, Thermite and Habana. So that way, that's a lot of pressure. All these hatches are open and you can push blue, which is this area down here. They might be holding this depending on what rank you're in. And that's pretty much it. That's how you play every hard breacher. So, so as promised, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell y'all which breacher I think is the most efficient or the best one to bring. And also, I'm going to show you in-game examples of every operator that is listed in the video being used. So y'all have an idea on what to do when you're actually in-game.
Now, for a beginner's guide, for what it is that you're going to be going for, I think you might want to go ahead and main thermite. But if you want to be more advanced in your breaching and you want to really utilize like Maverick tricks and stuff like that to make the wall soft, Maverick is really a one man show. So I will honestly say that Maverick might be the best breacher in the game, but that's just me. He can have stuff to go through cage charges. He can really get the wall open. If it's caded, if it's banded it, if there's a mute on it, nothing is stopping his gadget from opening the wall. And you could just say, hey, whoever is a soft breacher, if you got a buck, a sledge, or you can honestly just shoot the wall open yourself, that would take a lot of work and it's going to take a long time to do and a lot of ammo. But if you want to do that, you can go that route too. Or have any of the operators that I named go and say, hey, the wall is soft, can you open it? But pretty much, Maverick is a one-man show. So that's the one I'm rolling with to say he's the best. Beginner, just starting out, go ahead and do the Thermite. If you want to get more advanced and really use the best breacher in the game, Maverick is the way you want to go. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Astralis channel. They got a bunch of stuff for y'all, you know. And if it's not just the hard breach you want to main, we got a lot of other stuff over there. So go ahead and check it out, baby. Yay. I guarantee it's going to help you get better. Thanks for having me, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace. Bro, that in game footage, baby. Yeah. Mozzie's not in. Where is she? On site, he said. Good job, DJ. <laughs> On site, he Why is it not broken? It's caded. Cause you didn't hit this the side, bro. All the way to the left up top. Oh, that's crazy. Here, I'm popping eight. You got no more. John hole, John hole, bro, John hole, bro. It's with John hole. Oh, oh. Cam's high. Ooh. All these stations. Wow. Oh my right. Alibi on stairs, alibi on stairs. 2v2. Did dragon? He's hurt, he's hurt, he's hurt. Oh, oh my gosh, I shot it. Where was he? No idea. Must have been. Oh, so nice. I see. Nice. Yo, DJ is still going off. I'm not even gonna yeah, I'm 
about not this and kill me. Hold up. Oh, not like this. I killed the guy red, so maybe I can push up red. Yeah, watch this drone. Yo, come on. You know you don't have to use those six pellets. Dog is top red. Dog top red. About to come down red. Come down red. Peek him red. Peek him red. He's trying to do what he did to me. He just quick speed. He's back in uh He's back in cash. Dog back in cash to rotate. They don't even got a Jaeger. You can nade him next time they come red. I'll let you know. Red is clear though. You guys are able to yeah. push up. He's close on the breach, I believe. I think I seen him cross. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, peeking, peeking, peek top, 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 right. Hallway, hallway, hallway. To your left, to your left, to your left. Oh my god. Get the, get get the bomb. Where's the Jaeger? Where's the Jaeger? Garage, 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 garage. Last one, garage, last one, garage. No, no, he's not garage. I think he's coming stairs. Yup. Stairs behind him. Right, 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 right. Rotate, 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 rotate. Uh, Dang! You, why you yell? Oh, <laughs> why you yell? <laughs> Go Don! <laughs> did, did, did some footage? Yes, sir! About time, good lord. Worst breacher in the game. Sweet G.